Hey guys, so who thought I could stick to my TBR for this month? Raise your hand. None of you? Yeah, I don't know why I thought that. Uh, I say this because I went to the library and I got some books. And I'm going to show them to you. Alright, well, one of the books I got is actually not a library book. Ouch, that hurt. Um, it's for Academic Super Bowl. Um, and it is the complete plays of oh Sophocles. Sophocles. I don't want to say that say it in the comments. But I only have to read Antigone, which is the last one. Um I have no idea what it's about. So yeah. But it's for our Greek unit. Um it's in very good condition. Thank you, Sunday Sensei. Uh yeah. All these other books were from the library. I'm a sick person. I'll just say that right now. Yeah. Okay. In no particular order because, let's face it, I don't do things in order. Or as I'm supposed to be doing them. I got Five Flavors of Dumb by Anthony John. Um, this is about a girl named Piper. And she is in trouble and she has to organize this gig for this band. And I got to the word band and I got very interested. So I grabbed it. Yes. Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles, which is actually on my wish list, which I should be taking off. Not that anyone's going to buy me books for my birthday, or Christmas. It's Christmas, guys. It's Jesus' birthday. Um, yeah. Basically, it's about this girl named Leah, and she goes, she lives by this airport, and she wants to fly, stuff like that. I don't know. The cover's pretty cool, though. I like her dress. The back cover's awesome, too. Then I found Withering Tights by Louise Renison. She wrote um, the Georgia Nicholson series, which I haven't read, but I thought this looked really funny. Um, it's about Tallulah Casey. Um, it just seems hysterical, so I'm gonna get it. I did get it. Then I got I got two or three is it two 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 books. That I've already read, but I wanted to reread, so I got them. I got Avalon High by Meg Cabot. Um, I love this book. The movie was really good up until the ending, which they totally screwed up, if you want to ask my opinion. But, yeah, I just missed this book, so I'm going to read it. It's been a while since I read any Meg Cabot, and I really like her. So This one was Complete Impulse. Uh, it's Loving Will Shakespeare by Carolyn Meyer. It's about Anne Hathaway um, and Shakespeare in their younger days. I don't know, it just seems, <clears throat> excuse me, it just seems um, like it'd be a cool read. I probably won't read it, but I'd like to. And then I got, dun 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 dun, dun Game of Thrones. You thought it was Star Wars, didn't you? Nope, I, last time I left off, I was 510 pages in. I don't even know that because I didn't put my bookmark there. And I kind of remember what's happened. Um, I didn't remember who Tyrion was because that's who I was reading from. I hate him, by the way. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll finish this soon. It's finals week, so lots of reading between tests for me. And then I got what I might, I think, is probably the biggest book that I've ever seen, which is a big lie, but it just seems so big. Um, it's Grave Mercy by Robin LeFevers. It's this big. It's supposedly like 500 and some pages, but whatever. But the print is really big in it, and the spacing and stuff, so... I should be getting through it really quick. I have no idea what this is about. Proceed. Um, escaping from the brutality of an arranged marriage, seventeen-year-old Ismay, oh girl, Esme, I think it's Ismay, um, finds sanctuary at the Covenant of Saint Martin, where the sisters still serve the gods of old. That's about as much as I'm going to read you, but it looks very good. My friend Shelby said it was really good, so and the cover is pretty. And then I got Slide by Jill Hathaway. I wasn't going to get it because I didn't see it. And then I was like, ooh, that looks interesting. And I remember Jesse the Reader did a review on this. Or maybe talked about it. I don't remember. And he said he liked it. So I got it. Um, it's about this girl named V. Um, she goes, I guess she sees the eyes of a killer. Um, yeah, that's about all I know. So yeah. 
And then I got another book that looked, just looked really cute, and I liked the title, and then I realized it was about princesses, and if you guys probably don't, because I don't want to talk about it very much, but um, one of my things is, like, princess royalty, I'm like, yes, I must have you, you are going to be mine. Um, so I got Keeping the Castle by Patrice Kindle. Uh, I hope that's right. Um, it's about this girl named Althea, who... Supports her withered mother, younger brother, and two stepsisters who pled poverty. I don't know what that means. She must maintain Crawley Castle. Um, she must marry well. That's about all I got before I was like, this sounds good. And it's, I mean, it's extremely tiny. It's pretty big print, and it's only a couple hundred pages. So, I mean, it's, it's small. It's not big at all. So, quick little read. Two more. Then I got another reread because um, Astrid the Bookworm just did a review on this and she loved it and I remember how much I loved it and I wanted to reread it and so I was like, what the heck, let's do it. So I got The Lux by Anna Gomberson. Um, she's got a new book series out, Bright Young Things I think is what it is. Um, and I have not read that yet, but I want to. That was weird when I said that, but these covers are just gorgeous. I love them to death. So yes, The Lux. Which, I don't know why I didn't get rumors, but... Whatever. And then I got the last book in my thing. I hope you didn't see it. Um, it is The Agency, A Spy in the House by Y.S. Lee. Um, I've heard some people talk about these, and I guess they're supposed to be pretty good. So, I'm going to read it, and I'm going to find out. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so all those are due on the 7th, so fingers crossed. Um, let me know if you want reviews on any of them in the comments. Um, I'm also going to be today filming a review on Choker by Elizabeth Woods, but you won't know because I'll be wearing a different shirt. I just have the same hair, so it's a secret. Shh. Anyways, yes, so if you want to reviews on any of them, except for maybe Game of Thrones, because that's too big. There's so many reviews out there already, um, and I don't really remember the beginning very well, but I will definitely tell you what I feel about it, if you'd like. Um, so yes, hopefully I'll be getting to things like... The Maze Runner and Wine and Before I Fall and pick up everything. Um, basically, the reason that I stopped was because I didn't really know what to read, and so I picked up um, this one for Darkness Shows the Stars, and I couldn't really get into it. So we'll see. But yeah, so see you guys soon. Bye.